Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about how to update your current wardrobe to transition into fall, okay? This is just gonna be kind of like a mix of tips and tricks and a wish list for me. Um, while I don't have a lot of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video, these are some of the things that I'm gonna be purchasing and some of the things that you can look forward to seeing in my upcoming fashion videos that I do have planned. Smart shopping is an essential key. It's like you can shop all day long, but if you're not smart shopping, then you're wasting your time. Even if I do plan on going to the mall or going to the store, I always try to do my planning and plotting and scheming online first. And the number one way that I found to be the most effective in doing so is Shop Tagger. I've talked about Shop Tagger before on my channel. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll be sure to link it somewhere. But I love Shop Tagger for this. I love to be able to use it as my personal shopper. Um, it's an easy way to keep track of all of the things that I really, really love for the upcoming season. Some of the things that I want to purchase, some of the expensive stuff that I can't afford yet, but just in case I ever come up on some money, you know, I can slide it into my cart. Um, and I just love Shop Tagger because it's so easy to use on the go because I have such a great Instagram feed that makes me want to buy things all the time. Constantly finding myself going to the internet to find different pieces and figure out where I can get certain things for a cheaper price. It's really simple to do. All you have to do is go to shoptagger.com and you're going to create an account. You just put in your email address and your name and simple information. I already have an account so I'm just going to log in and then when you have your account set up all you have to do is set up the browser button so you just click get the button press tag and then you can add the extension to your browser and you head over to your favorite store and click the button when you see an item that you like and you can save it based on color, your size, you can get notifications for when the price drops or changes and you can also add it to a list to have everything in one place so you can have like a fall list and then put all of the fall items in that list. And then you can get email notifications for when an item you've saved goes on sale or comes back in stock. You can also do the same thing on your phone. All you have to do is just download the app and sign in. And whenever you're on a site, you can press the button as if you're going to save to your camera roll or whatever. And the shop tagger button should pop up and then you'll be able to save items on the go as well. So be sure to click the link in the description box so that you can check out shop tagger for yourselves. I'm not even kidding you guys, I've used Shop Tagger almost every single day um, because it's just so helpful in helping me to keep everything organized and keeping my wish list all in one place. And I'm gonna be using the fall list on my Shop Tagger to basically just give you guys some ideas of what I've been looking forward to purchasing. The best way to do it is to do it over time. You don't have to do all of it at once. I definitely don't, which is why I love using the app. So when I go to the store, I know what to get and I'm not wasting money on stuff that I don't need because the last thing you need to do is go to the store and buy a whole new wardrobe. Just be mindful of that, that you don't have to like spend a whole bunch of money and break the bank getting a new wardrobe. You can just add a few things and a few touches here and there to make everything more fall appropriate. A lot of the things we buy in the summer are transferable to fall. So you can take a really cute dress, a really cute summer dress, and you can add a cute jacket. You can put on some booties with it or some boots. Um, make it really fall appropriate. Depending on what climate you live in, you may not need a coat at this early in the fall time. Some people's weather gets a little cooler faster like mine does. So a coat might not be a bad idea. One of my favorite type of coats to wear in the fall is a trench. I love trench coats. I love long, almost ankle length coats that are not too oversized, but a little oversized in a nice brown color because that's a good fall color. And I feel like it goes with everything. They're warm, they're good for layering. Trench coats are very, very timeless. They never go out of style. I showed this in one of my most recent try on haul videos, but even though this one is a little bit more oversized and the sleeves are a little bit trendy, I can keep wearing this for years to come. It's not going to be too out there to where it won't look good a couple years from now. Um, and there are really good quality ones out there on the market that you can find that are not too expensive. The one that I got from ASOS was, I wanna say around $150 something like that but it was on sale too that's why it's important to have that shop tagger app girl because it'll let you know when asos is having a sale so um another place you can get a good trench it's from zara zara has really good outerwear especially for fall time good sturdy outerwear that's going to last you a while speaking of zara another type of jacket that i really really love is 
moto jackets, motorcycle jackets. You can put it over a formal dress if you wanted to and make it look really edgy, but you can also wear it the traditional way, which is like a tank top and jeans. Um, and then a more updated version of the motorcycle jacket that's more trendy would be the aviator jackets. I feel like they come in and out of season a lot. This is one of those coats that transfers best into the winter time because they're a little more hefty and they have the shearling on the inside. And I also really like the menswear look. So double-breasted blazer-like coats are very very cute to me i feel like they're very menswear gives it a little more of a structured vibe like i'm going to work kind of thing but you can also tone it down a bit with like one of your favorite t-shirts that has like a slogan on it or something like a band tee or something like that and some jeans it's definitely one of those versatile pieces that i really like another essential that you need for the fall to transition your closet is to get some boots Boots transition everything easily as well. You can totally get some thigh high boots. I um, mean, I've seen a lot of people wearing thigh high boots scrunched down lately, so you don't have to wear them all the way up to your thigh if you're not that, you know, risque. I've seen a lot of different styles like that, especially um, because they are kind of mimicking the, the YSL $10,000 sparkly YSL boots that Cardi B wore and Rihanna wore and a couple other people I saw wearing. Um, those are definitely in style right now. You can totally do that with regular thigh high boots or you can get the ones that are already pre-scrunched and they stay like that. I know Steve Madden has a pair. That's another great way to transition as well as like regular biker boots, combat boots. Uh, I have a pair of combat boots that I'm in love with. I have yet to, let me go get them. It's like a really like shimmery gunmetal. Like these are, these are the kind of boots that you can wear and it'll just immediately make your outfit look that much more cool the design of them like they're really like almost like broken glass kind of look like cracked leather i don't know how i want to wear them yet but i plan on busting these bad boys out real soon okay these are by shelly's london by the way i got them from nordstrom you definitely want to get some cardigans and sweaters i mean that's a given we all know that but particularly i like the really really oversized chunky knit sweaters you can put them over a dress you can put it over a shirt and some jeans and if you feel like you know you really like the oversized look but you don't want to be swallowed get a belt that really speaks to you you know what i'm saying like they have like the big western big buckle belts or you can get like a skinny leopard print belt or a, um, a medium sized red belt a leather belt um, or you can get like one of those corset belts whatever fits your personal style this is the off-white industrial belt you may have seen me wear this in my jeep video and i love how this belt looks with everything put the belt on it and you're good to go so another way to update your wardrobe is to definitely add some cool textures anything with fur detailing is super cute and trendy right now zara is really good for that zara has a lot of cute um fur detailed stuff instead of getting like a regular track suit like sweatpants and a sweatshirt get one that's velour or like this what is this called velvet what is that velvet satin is really in right now anything satin satin has been around all year so i mean if you already have satin stuff you're good to go even if it is like a satin pink you can always put like a velvet jacket on top of it or you could wear like a motorcycle jacket and then patent leather is really in right now i have some patent leather pants that i'm really like stoked to get that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you i will be doing some more fall videos um more like lookbooks and try on hauls basically it's not gonna be me talking it's just gonna be me showing you the stuff but i did want to make this video just to kind of make it clear how i get my fall stuff and how i kind of prepare myself for the fall if this video is helpful to you you can definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it and that you want to see more videos like it go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already if you are subscribed just make sure one more time that you are subscribed and that your notifications are turned on so that you get an alert when I upload a video so you don't miss it. But other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video, all right? Bye!